morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Monday. My least favorite day, Leanna's favorite day. My friend Leanna, it's her favorite day. All right. Anyways, it's 8.22 right now. I just toasted up a bagel. This week we have onion bagels. I actually do still have one blueberry bagel from last week. I have that in the fridge. But I bought these yesterday and today, I don't know, I'm... I was kind of craving the onion bagel, so we'll eat that blueberry bagel maybe tomorrow, that last one. So, yeah, onion bagel it is. And you know what? I forgot to buy cream cheese, so I'm going to have to go to the grocery store later to get more cream cheese. There's enough for today and maybe half a bagel tomorrow, so definitely got to go get some. And I am brewing some coffee because we don't have any, uh, not we, I, I don't have any cold coffee. So coffee is a brewing right now. A coffee is a brewing. Did you have your coffee yet? Good morning. Good, Good morning, guys. Um, no, I don't have. You don't want coffee? I might get some. Come over here, they can't see you. Love you. Love you. Have a good day, guys. Good week. It's Monday, you guys. Um, it is Monday. I think that this weekend we're going to go to Universal Studios on Saturday. We haven't been to Universal since wow. like last august or even since before ever then since. since ever since i don't remember when we last went <clears throat> maybe last june yeah. july no well we went in july because we went to july 4th oh yeah i remember that what about christmas the christmas i think no well we went to the christmas last time because oh, yeah. we got our pass yeah. I think we got our pass in August, same time we got our Disney pass. So it must have been like August. So we're going to go on Saturday. AJ has a day off. So that's, it worked out perfectly. Like he didn't even have to ask for it off. They just gave it to him off. So we were like, okay, let's go to Universal on Saturday since you have a day off. Um, Vanessa, I don't know. Uh, you guys remember she was working last, uh, like the holiday season. She did quit that job. It like just... It wasn't a good environment. So she did quit that job. She had an interview with In-N-Out last week. So hopefully she gets that job. That'll be good. That'll be good for her. Oh, you know what? I forgot I have my Dunkin' Donut. Oh. Yesterday when we were driving back, well, after we drove back, we stopped at Seafood City. We did a little bit of grocery shopping. I didn't buy too much. I just really needed spicy vinegar. And then I bought a bottle of patis. Um, and then we bought hot pandisol from Valerio's. I bought two dozen, so I put one in the fridge. I might actually put it in the freezer because I don't know how fast we can go through it. And um, it defrosts very well. If you've never put bread in the freezer, you should try it. It defrosts very well. And then after that, we went to Dunkin' because I wanted coffee. I, didn't, I hadn't had coffee yet, and it was already like maybe like 1 or 12 or something. So we went to Dunkin'. I got one donut, which is my favorite, the strawberry glazed with sprinkles. Anytime a donut shop has strawberry, like strawberry frosting or strawberry glaze, I always get that because that's my favorite donut. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I need to get my water. Today's Monday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four, no, five. So I think I'm 21 weeks and five days pregnant. Yeah, because on Wednesday, I'll be 22 weeks. I have been really enjoying my belly bottle. It has the times on the side right here, so it helps you drink water throughout the day. And if you follow the times, you will end up drinking three of these in a day. I normally don't drink three, I normally drink two, just because around like dinner time, I have like my sparkling water, and then I try not to drink too much water anymore because I wake up 
like two times every night to go to the bathroom and I just don't want to wake up more than that to go to the bathroom. So I usually stop drinking this at dinner time and then I have sparkling water and then I have chocolate milk. Well, chocolate almond milk. So anyways, I'm going to refill this and then I'm probably going to put some fruit punch meal in it today. I don't always put the fruit punch meal, but like lately I've been really into it. So we're going to put this, we're going to put some of this in here. I put a little bit of ice because now I only want my drinks if they're super, super cold. And it's funny because in the beginning, I only wanted like mildly cold or like room temp water and drinks, but now it has to be like super ice cold. So we're putting like two squirts of that. I might put a little more, we'll see. I can usually tell by the color. Yeah. Okay. So good. It's 10 o'clock. We're gonna pour us, pour ourselves. We're gonna pour a cup of coffee, oh my gosh. Make a cup of coffee. This is the mug that I'm using today. The Disneyland Hotel, the happiest day on earth. This is just a little spoon. I'm just using it because Papa Bear used it for his coffee. So we're gonna use it. And I am pouring myself a hot cup of coffee this morning. We went to Winco yesterday for our grocery shopping and they already didn't have this anymore. I'm so sad, I should have bought two. Actually, I didn't see it anymore after the first week that we bought this. I think I saw this there maybe for two weeks and then I didn't see it anymore. But yeah, the Rice Krispie Treat Creamer is really good. It reminds me, it kind of reminds me of the frosted sugar cookie that they have like during the holidays, kind of. But yeah, this is really good. very good so I want this to stay open um, we're gonna make fruit salad in a little bit um, we have cantaloupe watermelon pineapple mango and I think that's it we're not doing kiwi we're not adding the kiwi this week is that it I think that's it so we're gonna make that in a little bit. Here is this week's fruit salad. We have cantaloupe, watermelon, pineapple, and mango. I totally forgot that I wanted to make um, like egg bites or egg muffins this week. So we're gonna make that right now. It's 10.45. I can still have um, a couple of these for breakfast today and then if Papa Bear wants some, he can have some and then the rest will be obviously for the rest of the week. But when we went to Winco yesterday, when we were shopping, I totally forgot that I wanted to make this and so I didn't have the ingredients on my grocery list. And we were already in the like frozen section and that's when I remembered about the egg bites, like after I bought the eggs. So instead of walking all the way back to the produce section, I just grabbed a frozen bag of peppers and onions. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna heat this up and cook it down a little bit just so they're nice and soft. And then I think I'm also going to chop them up a little bit into smaller pieces. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. This is the bag that I bought. It's just the pepper stir fry frozen veggies. So anyways, while that's warming up, I'm also going to chop up some ham. This is just like ham that we already had in the fridge because like I said, I totally forgot. And then we have this cheese and this cheese. They're both Mexican blend cheese. So we're gonna use that. And then I'm gonna scramble up 12 eggs. So we have our ham already cut up, peppers and onions. I chopped them up after I warmed them up in the pan. Honestly, that was like so much easier than using fresh onions and peppers. So I'm actually really happy that I bought that because it took like two minutes to defrost in the pan and it was so easy to just chop it up like that. Okay, so we're gonna crack and scramble up 12 eggs, because one egg per muffin. 
And then you want to season your eggs with like whatever seasonings you like, whatever you normally use in your eggs. We're going to do Kinder's The Blend, which is just garlic, salt, pepper, and garlic. You can also um, add cottage cheese to this if you're looking for extra protein. You could put it in your blender too to make it easier to like blend everything. We're gonna take our muffin tins, spray them with oil, our cooking spray. We're gonna do a little bit of pepper. I'm just gonna start with a little bit at first because I don't wanna run out and then I'll go back and add more like when I have extra. Okay, that was actually a very good amount. We're gonna do cheese and then we'll put the ham or you could do the ham and then the cheese, it like doesn't really matter. Okay, and then ham could do bacon or you could just not even put meat like it's totally up to you what you want to put in here I probably cut up too much meat okay we'll save this I just poured the egg into the pit into this uh, measuring cup just so it's easier to pour because it has a spout then we're going to fill up each each one here I put too much. I could be cash. I could be a band. I put too much in them, so I just spooned some of it into the other ones that were missing eggs. So, note to self. Just don't fill them up like all the way, all the way. And you should have enough with the 12 eggs. So that's what they're looking like. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes. I've seen some people make it with like a water bath in the oven so it could like steam them. I'm just not gonna do that. We're gonna put them in just as is. Here are the egg muffins. These actually took a little, oh, I forgot to turn off the oven. These actually took a little longer. They took about 23 minutes in my oven, um, but I started checking it at 15 minutes. I just poked it with a toothpick to see if it was done. So of course, you know, every oven is different. So check, you know, just, just check on them. But this is what they look like and they really puff up when they're cooking. So don't worry, they will like deflate, I guess, once they start cooling down. And I went around with a little butter knife just to make sure none of them were stuck. And that's what they're looking like. I'm gonna take them out and like, just so they can cool on a plate. Or should I put them on a cooling rack? I might put them on a cooling rack. I haven't tried the egg yet, but Alfredo did try it and he said it's really, really good. Um, I might have one a little bit later. It's already lunchtime. These, this took longer than I thought it was gonna take. So um, I might have one later, but like not right now. Instead of that, I actually made myself a little snack plate. I already started eating, but it's just cucumber, baby carrots, and then this is just garlic hummus, and it's so good. So we saw this on TikTok where they take the fruit roll up, then you put ice cream in it, and then you wrap it, and then like the fruit roll up's supposed to get like crunchy because the ice cream's cold. Which one are you gonna use? I don't know. Here, you wanna open this? Open I want that one? kind. Right. You want this kind? Well, we bought two different flavors because we bought the tongue. This is strawberry with tongue tattoo, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a variety pack. Yeah, it's, it's it's all different ones with tongue. I didn't know that. Blue raspberry. Okay, I'll do blue raspberry with a tattoo on it. Here, you go first. You go first. I want to see your reaction first. <laughs> Papa Bear is going to do his TikTok. <laughs> so you go first. I'm just going to get my thing ready. Random color. Yeah. Here, you go first since you have your ice cream ready. Or your ice cream. Fruit, your fruit roll up ready. I need the scooper. Oh, scooper do you do? Yeah, you? get your fruit roll up ready. Yep. Oh, wow, I got like the red, orange, yellow. I'm gonna make it flat. I'll be ready for so long. 
I put it like that. Oh wow. And then just meet it in the middle? Yeah. Except I couldn't unroll my fruit roll up all the way. Oh, oh my god, god, it's cracking. It's already getting crunchy. <laughs> You hear that? Yeah. Oh my god, it's already aye, cracking. Aye, Look, it aye. already it already cracked. You see that? <laughs> it's good. Alright guys, got it unwrapped. Oh, it looks like uh shards of like glass or something. Yeah. I like it, it's good. So for dinner tonight, I'm making baked ziti. So we have our ziti already cooked. Normally I make the sauce while the pasta is cooking, but I had to go to the UPS store, so I just cooked the pasta. Now we're gonna do the sauce. So we have garlic, onion, and I'm gonna use Italian sausage. You can use whatever meat you like, or maybe you don't want meat, but. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cook this all together with um, some spaghetti sauce, and I'm just using prego. So we have the onion and the garlic already in there and cooked. And I'm adding, or I already added the Italian sausage. So we're just gonna brown this up. And then the sauce that I'm using is Prego roasted garlic Parmesan. And I'm using, um, well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use two jars, I might. So here's what the sauce is looking like. I did end up adding both jars of sauce. I'm just gonna let it simmer for a little bit and then we'll start assembling. So I'm saving some of the sauce on the side and then I'm gonna add the pasta to this pot and mix it all up. We're gonna put a little bit, I totally forgot to do this. I wanted to save this for the top, but I forgot to do this part. So take some of your sauce, put it on the bottom. You don't need a lot, just, you know, so it doesn't stick and stuff. And we're gonna take ricotta. We're gonna do dollops, about half of this container. Like that. Then the pasta, all of it. Then the rest of the sauce, so you just want like it, you want it to be really saucy on top. You could also like save more sauce to put over the pasta, like once it's done baking, if you want. And then we're gonna put the rest of the ricotta. Mozzarella cheese, you could also do Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna do mozzarella. Then you wanna bake this uncovered at 350 for like 20, 25 minutes. Here is the baked ziti. I just took this out of the oven, so I'm gonna let it rest for a little bit. And while this is resting, I'm gonna put together a salad kit. Okay, this is just the ultimate Caesar salad kit. Okay, here's the salad. 